do not buy or lease any of these cars. These are the worst car lease deals in the month of April. And if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Matthew Long. And on this channel, all we talk about is making money, saving money, and how to better invest. On today's video, I'm gonna make sure none of you guys are jumping into these car lease deals because these are the top 10 worst car lease deals in the month of April. And the reason for that is because they all have very low residuals. And if you're not familiar with that term, residuals simply means the resale value of the car after you're done leasing them. Let's go take a look at my list. Make sure you steer away from these deals. So right off the bat, we're gonna go straight into a luxury SUV. That's gonna be at number 10, a BMW X5. A lot of you guys send me emails requesting, are there any good deals on the X5 or the X6? Well, actually there's not. The M60 trim, you're gonna be paying $91,000 and change on the MSRP. And most people with zero down sign and drive, this is on a 10,000 mile uh, three year term lease. They're paying on average $1,468. That means the residual on that payment reflects 62%. That is a very poor deal. I would not sign for an X5. Number nine is actually a 2023 model. That's a Hyundai Elantra. This is the limited trim. So it's a little bit higher end trim. This car it retails for $30,265. The average lease right now with zero sign and drive on 12,000 miles is $516 a month. That equates to a 59% residual. That is not very good on a sedan. I would look elsewhere like Honda or Toyota. Number eight on our list is a luxury sedan. That is the 2024 Mercedes E-Class. This is the E350 4Matic trim. This is going to start you back $63,400 on the MSRP. Zero down, sign and drive, 10,000 miles on a three-year term. People are paying roughly on average $1,067 a month for this car payment on a lease. That equates to a 59% residual. I'll pass. Maybe you're looking for a family SUV. At number seven is the 2024 Ford Explorer. This is the Platinum because a lot of you guys love all those bells and whistles the panoramic moonroof, et cetera. Well, this is gonna set you back $53,120 on an MSRP. Those who are leasing this on a 12,000 three-year lease, they're paying upwards of $950 a month on this lease. That equates to a 57% residual. You do not want that on an SUV. There are much better deals right now in leasing for a full-size SUV. Look at some of my older videos, pass on the Explorer. Number five is a large full-size luxury SUV, the 2023, not four, Lincoln Navigator. This is the Reserve L trim. This thing is expensive. It starts at $96,800 on the MSRP. This lease is 10,000 miles, three-year term. People on average are paying $1,727 on a zero sign and drive on these navigators. That's a 56% residual, yikes. I mean, if you really, really love it, I guess, but man, that is extremely expensive and majority of your payment is just fluffing going out the car window. Number four is a vehicle we have talked about numerous times on the channel. That's the 2024 Dodge Hornet. This is the GT model and trim. This is gonna start you at $32,900 on the MSRP. Unfortunately for most leasing this vehicle right now with zero down 12,000 miles on a three year term, they're looking at upwards of right around $600 or more on the payment. That equates to a 56% residual. Really not good. I'd probably look elsewhere for a smaller SUV. Number three, I really do like this minivan. It's surprising that it's such a poor lease deal, but the 2024 Chrysler Pacifica Touring L trim is $43,165 on the MSRP. Unfortunately, with 12,000 mile, three year term lease, people are paying on average $794 for this minivan. That equates to a 56% residual. So I'm just gonna assume that the majority of people looking to buy these used think that the last family has just ran this damn thing into the ground and it's not worth much more afterwards. Hop, maybe there's higher maintenance costs. If you're a service tech or mechanic, let me know what's going on with the Pacifica because I enjoy driving them. I rent them quite a bit through Enterprise when I take a family trip and really enjoy them. 
but maybe they're not the most qualified or serviceable vehicle after a couple you know years and 50 60 70 thousand miles are put on them i don't know it's very confusing but not a very good residual you might want to look at the sienna or the odyssey for a better lease number two you already know how i feel about this brand but if you absolutely love it and you gotta have it the 2024 land rover range rover discovery sport um, this is the p250s trim if you're willing to go out there and spend fifty two thousand two hundred dollars on a smaller suv um, go for it because your average payment on a ten thousand three year lease is nine hundred and seventy five dollars on average and that's tier one credit so you're literally going to be paying based on the residual 54 percent is the residual guys that means literally 46 percent of the payment is literally going just to the vehicle the majority of it is probably going for future servicing of this vehicle because mechanics already are going to tell you this thing is a nightmare after the warranty is done and surprisingly under the same roof of Land Rover is Jaguar it's going to take the top spot here in the month of April as the absolute worst lease deal that is the 2024 Jaguar F-Type if you absolutely love this Roadster sports car or whatever you want to call it you're going to have to love it because the P450R dynamic trim that starts you at $84,900 on the MSRP you if you're looking to get into a lease on this thing at 10,000 miles, you're looking at $1,674 for the next three years on a lease term, which will equate to a pleasant 51% residual. That means literally almost half of your payment is just out the window and the other half actually goes to the value of what you are depreciating on the car. Guys, the F-Type is the worst car lease deal right now in America. So if you absolutely love it, go for it, but you are literally leasing the worst car in America. Well, there you have it, you guys. That is the top 10 worst car lease deals right now here in the month of April. If you have a friend or you might be shopping right now for a car lease, try to come back to this video and steer away from these. There are much better options out there. And if you know anyone that's about to go lease one of these top three worst cars, make sure they see this video because that's a lot of money you're throwing out the car window. I hope you got value out of today's video. As always, thanks so much for watching my videos and supporting my channel. I will see you guys on the next one.